I'm James, CTO and co-founder of Digital Shadows. Digital Shadows is a cyber monitoring company. We monitor our clients' digital footprints looking for evidence of data loss and of targeted attack. So at Digital Shadows, um, as a Chief Technology Officer, I work with clients to understand where their priorities lie. and I work with our development teams to make sure that our platform can support their needs and requirements. Um, I conduct a fair bit of research as well, so I'm trying to understand where the latest breaches are occurring, where data loss typically occurs, and um, we conduct quite a lot of research to see what the attackers are up to as well, so a good deal of my time is spent in that space. It's quite an interesting story. Um, I worked as a technical consultant for a number of years, um, at first in the telecoms industry, and I moved into the um, into a consulting firm, so we were consulting on behalf of clients. And whilst there, I started to do work with um, one particular client, where I was all the projects I was working on were were related to security in some way. So, um, and in the end, I, I just naturally was working. I became more aware of requirements around information security, uh, and just naturally sort of learned more about the topic area to the point where I decided to formally train and um, I eventually joined the CESG listed advisors scheme which is a, a scheme run by Cheltenham for uh, information assurance and security advice. Um, I did that for about six or seven years and then one day um, myself and my colleague Alastair were talking about digital footprints and how they were relevant to the security and risk of companies and uh, over a beer. Um, so we decided to quit our jobs and find out more about it. So in 2011, you know, it was myself and Alistair set the company up and uh, haven't looked back for about 20 people now. So it's been quite a journey. So a typical day for me would be spent a lot, spend a lot of time with clients, uh, understanding their needs and, and making sure I'm addressing their concerns. Um, and we're delivering a service that's, that's delivering value to them. Um, Another part of the day really is spent on research, so understanding what uh, is happening in the in the world of data loss. You know how companies are losing data, what leads to these outcomes, um, and what measures can be put in place to mitigate the risks. Um, the other side is really understanding uh, threat actors across quite a, a broad range, from uh, hacktivists through to uh, nation states. And through organised crime, you know, what, what are those different groups up to, what kind of threat do they present um, and what does our system tell us about the behaviours of, of those, those actors. So um, it's a good deal of time spent sort of looking at that area. And lastly, um, we spend time with the development team, so really working out, you know, what features we prioritise and what uh, capabilities we should, we should work on next. So the best bits are definitely uh, the research and uh, the, um, you know, we're always, every day is a school day, we're always learning something new. Uh, definitely that's the best bit about the job. Um, I'd say the other th really exciting part about working at Digital Shadows is that um, it's a very small, agile environment. We, we have a, a lot of opportunity to make our own decisions about our direction and, and what we're going to work on next. So I, I really love that. That's uh, a lot of fun. Um, I guess you know, there's no bad bits about Digital Shadows, but I, I suppose you know, it's the more administrative side of the business. I know way more about double entry bookkeeping than I would ever wish to know, um, but it's an important part of running a business. So I guess the more administrative tasks are uh, not perhaps as exciting. Interestingly, social media is a, a great resource for finding out about InfoSec. There's lots of uh, groups on sites like LinkedIn, Twitter. If you follow the right folks on Twitter, you can find out an amazing amount of information. So um, I'll probably get 70% of my day-to-day -day, um, information from social media. Uh, I think the other place you can look is to look at um, professional groups. Uh, so there's quite a few of those out there. Um, uh, I actually find that by talking with, um, I work a lot in the financial services sector, so I meet uh, peers in information security across the sector and just by having discussions with them I can learn about what's concerning them most and that leads me to research the areas that they're most interested in. So 
you know, peers are a great resource. Um, the other area is in academic research. So, you know, the UK has got a fantastic uh, academic base. There's some brilliant universities in the, in the UK that are run MSc and PhD courses in information assurance and security. I think looking at the papers those groups are producing is, is really wise. And you can use services like Mendeley, for example, um, to uh, look at academic research and see what's coming out. I think um, also looking at places like the computer emergency response teams, um, uh, both in the UK and the US and uh, globally, that provides uh, some really good up-to-the-minute information about what's, uh, what's going on. Uh, information security is actually a really exciting career option. It, um, uh, I've, I've had a great deal of fun uh, in my time. Um, I think there's lots of, there's two real main routes you can follow. You can either follow a policy-based route, which um, you know, it's worth looking at some of the different uh, information security standards. There's some really exciting things going on at the moment in small to medium enterprises and with schemes such as Cyber Essentials where people are just trying to raise the basic bar. So, you know, the industry really needs people who understand other people and can um, encourage interaction and get people to really understand information security as a, as a, as a topic. I think on the digital side, um, there are some fantastic opportunities. I'd really suggest just getting your hands dirty is a, is a great way of learning about the technologies and how they work. Um, I think you have to sort of look about the, the, the legal and ethical side of it. It's really important you understand those areas well before you go off uh, exploring. But there's once you've understood those, there's things like Kali Linux, there's things like there's a lot of uh, tools and hack days that you can go along to. The conferences now provide some brilliant um, opportunities to get involved with uh, technology directly. So, you know, get involved in things like the B-Sides conferences, 44Con, um, you know, even, even some of the bigger conferences like InfoSec Europe have uh, training tracks now. So take a look at those. In fact, uh, things like YouTube have some fantastic content uh, on and you can learn a great deal from. There's some, some, uh, some great courses up there now.